In this video, we're going to talk about Twitch being blackmailed. Twitch uncovers a twisted conspiracy. It is very twisted up in this issue. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Sam and Twitch Case Files, issue number 7. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Previously in Sam and Twitch, Twitch discovers how deep the conspiracy goes. And we don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes either. And he's forced to help those that seek to blackmail him. Now, last issue, Trestle and the gang, they need Twitch's help trying to find this killer. They don't know what this killer is about. And the killer was in that house too. And he went in the house undetected. But they use blackmail showing not even a, co a compromising picture to they sent that text message to his wife thinking that it'll help Twitch or at least incentivize Twitch to help him, but it's pissing Twitch off. And he's probably calling his wife right now to try to straighten things out because that woman was a dead man's wife. And Twitch is just consoling her on a case, but it's just getting all messed up over here. So Twitch is mad, like pick up your phone and the boys are like, he doesn't seem too happy. And Twitch turns around like, you got something to say, Tobias? And Jim Trestle, Twitch's friend, helping blackmail Twitch into helping solve this case. It's like, guys, it's all just relax. And Twitch is like, you know what? Forget you. Dex him, see these hands, knocks him out. And Twitch tells him, this con game you're playing, you better watch yourself, Twitch, says Jim Trestle. You got that backwards, says Twitch. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever it is, and I promise I'm gonna find out, you've just shit away your career. Why? You've got 10 dead bodies. But for some twisted freaking reason, you're gonna blackmail me to my wife over my dead body. Given the context of the story here, that's pretty poetic in my opinion. And Jim is like, you're so far off, Twitch. We want the bastard who do this just as much as you do, but we needed to flush him out. You see, you're the new guy, we can use you as bait, and he's trying to impress you. Twitch is like, that makes no damn sense. What, what's the evidence for that? Well, the thing is, says Jim, your emotions just damaged the best prints we had, those footprints. Now they're useless. We could have seen what kind of shoes he was wearing and do all that investigation and pinpoint where he bought those shoes at. So Twitch is like, okay, you say that, but none of this explains taking my gun or texting my wife because nothing else was working, says Jim. We needed another angle. Forget it. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Typical gaslighting, right? You wouldn't understand, so let's not even talk about it. Oh no, says Twitch. You don't get to gaslight me. You're going to talk to your boy. Actually, they're not even boys right now because it's kind of, <laughs> the room is full of tension. Because at any point, they can kill him, but they need him, and you don't know where the hell this is going to go. And Jim is like, you want to know what's going on? Fine, I'll tell you, but I hope you got the stomach for it. You think we're bad guys? Maybe you're right. But Lansky, that girl's boyfriend, he was the most brutal. And Twitch is like, brutal to who? Anyone we didn't think belonged, not in our city. And before you judge, just listen. We saw a surge of violence and crime, so we decided to do something about it when the courts would. Did we get physical with many of them? Yes, we did. Especially Lansky. Someone must have been watching him, though, because he started to get threatening messages. And the chief is like, yeah, Jim's right. And some of those messages said they returned the same pain Lansky delivered every time he did something. And the copycat did it, says Jim. But he kept going till he began to kill, says the chief of police. We went after assholes, but the killer, he took it out on innocence. Even after we decided to pull back on our activities, this cycle kept going, which means some of this may be a direct result of what our good intentions were. So as you might imagine, Twitch, we can't play this by the book, and Twitch is over here analyzing the bullshit. Is it really bull jive though? And they're asking, you're being awfully quiet, and Twitch is like, I'm just thinking. And what are you thinking about? Twitch is like, something's not right, bro. Well, what's your alternative? That we know the killer or we are the killers? Don't get that paranoid, Twitch. And Twitch is thinking, Lansky being killed by Jim Trestle. And Twitch is like, but the killer was here because this note wasn't here when we arrived. He wrote it. You know why? Lansky used to wear a t-shirt all the time. And guess what it said? No good deed. He's been watching us. Now he's messing with us and you. He knows you're new and he wants you at our throats. And how is that supposed to impress me, says Twitch. And how is that supposed to impress himself? And Jim is like, you just don't see it. If the killer can reverse things, make us the bad guys, and get you to blow this whole thing open, then he'll have copied everything by becoming a detective himself. He does that, then as you told us, Twitch, he'll never stop. And we'll see the real killer, the actual killer in his minivan, 
or his killer van go into the house with three dead bodies in the back. And as he's going in and unloading them, I gotta take this time to say, hey man, as we go through these panels, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Now, let's get back into the content. Now, the killer goes back to the van and gets the hacksaw, and I don't know what this can is about. Is it something to make the sawing that much easier? He opens up the bag, and I don't recognize that face at all. And it's kind of eerie, because at least it ain't making eye contact with me or you, because it is kind of creepy. So they go back to the house, and they're asking Jim to note what's on the back. And Jim recognizes the farmhouse, and he's just putting his hand over his face like, bro, this ain't good. It's the old farmhouse. So they realize that they have to go, and they have to go now. And Twitch is like, yeah, you guys are on your own. I don't want any part of this. And Tobias is like, boss, what are you going to do? And Jim is like, I'm not asking you, Twitch. Not anymore. That madman killed our partner. Now you're part of this. So you're coming. This is just a weird way of asking for help because it's desperate. Tensions are high. And like I said, you get the feeling as proof right here that they're holding Twitch at gunpoint that he didn't want to go. They can kill Twitch at any point. But they also know that Twitch can blow this whole case over at any point. So they got to get on the move. So they get to the farmhouse and Twitch is like, okay, so tell me, the killer, is he your partner too? And the chief of police is like, Twitch, I had enough of you, man, just shut up. So they go into the house and I'm not even sure I can show this on YouTube, but I'm just going to show real quick. Bodies like that, yeah, I'm done. Okay, so they want to give Twitch his gun right now as we see the, the hacksaw and the canister that I think, I don't know what the heck that is, but I believe it has to be something that allows him to, like some kind of hacksaw lube in a spray. <laughs> I don't know. Forgive you, boy. If you guys know in the comment section, you comment below. Let me know. So they go into the house. It's empty, but they have to give Twitch his gun back. Even though his gun has no bullets in it, he has to look the part. All these bodies, all this tension, all this eeriness. And even Twitch comes to the conclusion he's toying with us because where are their heads? We see limbs, we see legs, we see backs, but we see no heads. But head number one is at Jim Trestle's residence right there. And I think that was one of the old cops on the force. Head number two is at Tobias' residence. I don't recognize that head. <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about a lot of head here. And then head number three, I believe that has to be the chief of police's home because the line at the door right there, I don't know, lines kind of have this power thing or this positional thing or something. Like but now at Twitch's hotel, the killer is there and he goes in dropping off another head. But he looks at Twitch's work and how he's gathering evidence and the profile that he's doing on the killer like severed missing limbs not ritual possible distraction and he's like okay this guy is quite thorough so he's looking at all the forensic reports and he's realizing okay this guy is getting close or maybe this guy is onto something that he didn't think he'll be onto but there's a knock on the door and guess who it is right there is sam he drives all the way uptown to see twitch like he misses him and he does but he wants to make peace but on the other side of that is the killer and that is the end of sam and twitch case files issue number seven what you guys think of this comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry with all that being said thank you again for watching until next time